Hey, you guys made it. Great. Hi. The band's setting up in the lounge now. Well, we thought you might want some youthful support. Mm. Yeah. What do you say we get away from the establishment crowd? Okay, I'll show you the setup. I would be more than mm -hmm. delighted. Let's go by the punch bowl first, the spiked one. Well, it's oh. right on the way. Not a bad idea. Why don't you uh, grab my arm tightly and I shall lead you to safe. Well, oh. I guess I'll follow. You know, you ought to quit looking at them. Just torturing yourself, don't you think? I can't help it. It's over time. You forget about them, huh? I am trying. I really am. I'll tell you what. Why don't you and I go out and get some fresh air? Frisco, let's do it. Duty calls, so I'm going to do a... Yeah, go right in. Go. I'll be fine. Ready? Well, this won't take long. It, it's real important. Well, this is important also. I need to talk to you, Frisco. And I'm not going to let this go on for one more minute. I uh, went to visit my father. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Figured it was about time. Oh. Reconcile our differences. Yeah, that's great. See, I knew that would happen between you two. You just had to get your head together first. Frisco, what happened to us? I don't know. Is it over? I mean, don't I mean anything to you anymore? No. So what is it? This is difficult for me, Tanya. Well, tell me. Maybe I can help you with it. You don't... Hi, guys. Tanya, Hi. time to see. How are you, Studley? Where have you been every night? Hey, hey, listen, um, Tanya, we'll talk later, okay? Tony, buy her a drink, will you, man? Sure, what are you drinking? Uh, Frisco, Tanya, I... He'll take care of you, okay? Will you please... We'll talk, I promise. I, I gotta go. <gasps> Frisco! Uh... Sorry, I... I, um... Looking for Tony here. You found me. So what's up? I need some more medicine. For Patty. Her fever's back in. We're out of medicine. Okay, I see. I need your help. So, Tanya, what's the story, huh? Well, but didn't you ask Tony? He's very fond of games. I'm not. Ooh, you could have fooled me. So you're an item now, huh? Is that what I should expect? No, just be like me. Don't expect anything, and you won't be disappointed. So, why are you so attracted to my brother? I guess you could call it his, uh, availability. All you have to do is pick up a phone. That's all you had to do. I did it for three months. So I've been very busy lately. That's what I mean, availability. You can't be serious. I mean, you and my brother, I, I don't believe this. Well, I am sorry if it upsets you, Frisco.
Nothing. Sorry. Not even a spark. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Whiplash. Well, though you're the last person I expected to find here. Well, I do eat every now and then. Mm, but nothing you'd have to cook yourself. I'm only kidding. Let's forget about what happened this morning, okay? All right. Good. Well, I see you're still not eating your own cooking. What do we have here? A little cold salad from the deli, a little chicken mm. that's already cooked. Oh, right. Still taking the easy route, I think. If you cook the way I did, you'd do the same thing. <laughs> what are you going on a picnic there? You've got some paper plates. Looks perfect. Oh. No, I don't do dishes either. Cooking, dishes, nothing. <laughs> Truly the ultimate bachelor, eh? Okay, you don't do cooking. Well, what do we have that you don't have to cook? This, this is delicious. You simply boil it on yeah. the stove. You have a stove, right? No. Of course you have a stove. I've um, cooked on it. Yeah, I mean, but I, I don't know. It's don't easy. Use it. You turn on the gas, you get the flame. No, don't it. mess with gas. You never know when it's going to blow, Tanya. Stand. <laughs> All right, you're uh, unbelievable. What do we need? Something that you don't cook. And right. Okay, easy. how about this? Uh, eat it right out of the jar if you Artichokes. want. No can opener, nothing. It's not like a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> nothing like shopping with a pro, though, huh? <laughs> right. Stick with me, kid. Um, let me see. Well, we're shaping up a meal here, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I've got everything. Oh, you make a I'm through. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm through, too. I don't really know what else I need. If you're not in a hurry, maybe we could go by Kelly's and get a cup of coffee or something. I don't know. I'm supposed to... I mean, well, if you're busy or something, no big deal. No. No, I'm not. I'd love to join you. Oh, great. Well, age before beauty. Oh. No, no. I mean, the cart, Tanya. I'm telling you, you know, you may know a lot about grocery shopping, but you don't know anything about grocery carts. Huh. I mean, look at those wheels. They're so out of line. We shall see. Here. Mm. This will fix you up. Thank you. It's a little chilly out today. Yeah. Can I fix you something to eat? No, not for me, thanks. No, we're both planning very big meals tonight. Ah, uh, cooking together is fun. Well, actually, we're cooking separately. I'm doing the cooking. Well, cooking's fun. Speaking of that, I've got a dinner going in the kitchen. I better attend to it. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks, thanks, Ruby. You know, she has a point there. What's that? About cooking together. You bought a lot of food today. Yeah, not that much. Mm. Enough for two people. You think so? Mm. I've shopped for two before. Well, you know, actually what I was doing was buying enough for two meals. That way I don't have to go shopping for a few more days. <laughs> oh, so that's what you were doing. Mm, pretty smart, huh? I'm mm, lazy. Mm, <laughs> very smart. We had fun today. I mean, shopping. Yeah, yes, definitely one of the uh, more memorable days for me in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you've got enough for two meals, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, at least. Uh, you know what's really too bad about the whole thing? Mm. Is that tomorrow you're not going to be able to go shopping again. I mean, for tomorrow night. Right. Yeah, that's a real shame. <laughs> well, you know, I just happen to have the solution. Now, if you took two people and you had them both eat all the food that you bought today for one meal tonight, well, then they could both go and uh, do some more shopping tomorrow. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> and what if even one offered to cook? You. Well, I remember a time when you used to love my cooking. Um, we'll do it at my house. It'll be easy that way. There'll be no cleanup. You won't have any worries. What do you say? Will you come and have dinner at my house tonight? Um, Tanya, I'd really like to stay, but I have to get back. You haven't answered my question. What's that? My offer for dinner. Oh, right. We're going to make it easy. It'll be at my house. I'd really like to. Great. I can't, though. Why not? You said you were eating alone tonight. I know I did. Right, and that's no fun at all. No, really. You can't believe it, but I'm really getting used to it. We've had a good time. Why end it? I just have a lot of stuff to do. Like what? Well, just a lot, that's all. Like, I, I don't know, I have to do it. it my conscience, it wouldn't, it'd kill me. Yeah, 
I can see you got something on your mind. Right. It's work, actually. Oh. Well, since when have you become so conscientious about work? <sighs> Must be getting old, I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I could make it in a couple of hours. It, it, it wouldn't take long at all. Uh, maybe another time. Okay. Bye. Tanya. Um, listen, here's money for the coffee. No, 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 please. Please, I got it. Um. I really had a good time today. Thanks for helping me shop. Anytime. I'll see ya. A special guest. Oh? Special guest. Nobody told me about a special guest. Who is it? Well, why don't you see for yourself? She just walked in. Mm-hmm. Tanya! <laughs> Are you surprised? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Nobody told me about it. Well, you're not unhappy, are you? No, no, okay. not at all. I, I, who set this up? What happened? Um, Josh asked me and I said yes. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, all right, good. Did they run through what we're going to talk about? Because I don't know. Therapy for singers with injured voices. Uh, no way. <laughs> it's right on the nose, huh? Yep, and you are my prime example, so it should be right on the nose. Yeah, well, I'm a very grateful example, too. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't even be here, right? <laughs> you really taught me a lot, thanks. You taught me things, too. Yeah? You know, I still think we have a whole lot to learn from each other. A whole lot. And I'd like to throw out a special thanks to my, my beautiful guest today. This is Frisco Jones saying, hey, when you're ever in a tight situation, just peel back and roll with it. Have a nice day. Cut. Oh. <laughs> you were great. You were wonderful yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't they something? I thought my nephew was fine. Oh, Frisco's always great, but wasn't that special he and Tanya? They're so good together. I thought she looked rather frumpy. Frumpy? Hi. Oh, hey, Joe. Oh, Jenny, hey, did you stay for the show? I certainly did. I didn't plan on it, but I got caught up with the news story. Yeah, weren't they great together, yeah. Tanya and Frisco? They sure were. Oh, excuse me, uh, uh, Jenny Blake, this is uh, Frisco's Aunt Helen. Oh, hello. Welcome to the station. How are yeah, you? Jenny here Thank anchors you. the morning news show. Mm -hmm. Oh, that must be very interesting work. I think so. Guys, congratulations. Oh. That show was terrific. Oh, you're congratulating the wrong guy, Mr. Farrington. I'm dirty. Uh, no, I'm not. I mean, you chose Tanya to be Frisco's guest, and uh, they really hit it off great. I mean, they have a very special warmth between them, and it came across. Yeah, he's doing real life, too. Oh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Barrington, this is uh, Frisco's Aunt Helen. Uh, Mr. Pleasure, Barrington. Mr. Barrington. How do you do? You must be very proud of your nephew. I am. I just uh, thought he could have done the show all by himself. I really don't think he needed the guest. Uh, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Aunt Helen. Uh, hey, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. How'd you like the show? I liked some of it. Mm hmm Um, good. This is, um, this is Tanya. This is my Aunt Helen. Hi, <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Did you, um, like the show? <laughs> I thought you talked too much. P pardon me? You talked too much. You kept trying to steal the spotlight from my nephew. Here. <laughs> no, Aunt Helen, you know. You she know did. Can be. Um, I think it's about time Josh, <laughs> Josh uh, took Aunt Helen home, don't you? It is? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure it is. Um, come on, Aunt Helen, uh. We, we better get going. They're going to have to strike the set pretty soon. Bye, Josh. It was fun, though, wasn't it? Bye. Bye, Aunt Helen. <laughs> I'll see you Bye. when I get home. Thanks for coming by. Love it, though. Well. Listen, <clears throat> thanks again for everything. Come on, I'll walk you out. Oh, well, I'm not going back to the hospital. I was wondering if we could talk somewhere privately. Yeah. Here. All right. Um, listen, don't even pay any attention to what my Aunt Helen said, okay? She's... She's out there. Uh, tell you the truth, I didn't even know you had an aunt. I try not to see her that often, you know. Uh, you yeah. can understand why. Aunts are sure. like that, kind of, you know what I mean? There you go. Thanks. All right. Uh, Frisco, is it all right if I tell you what's on my mind? Yeah. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, because I don't want you to think that I'm being coy. <laughs> I don't think I ever picture you as, as coy. Go on, what's on your mind? I want to see more of you. 
That's it? Just that? Well, that's what it comes down to. I, um... Can we go over here and sit down? Sure. <clears throat> you see, Frisco, I realize now that the first time around, well, there were a lot of outside forces that interfered or came between you and I, and I didn't exactly have control over my life then. I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, I was all the time intense and so uh, uptight. And you're not anymore. Not with you. Tanya. What is it that you want? I want us to have a light-hearted relationship. To be together and enjoy ourselves and... And go out. I told you I was going to be honest. I appreciate that. It, there's a problem, though. It's sort of ironic, actually. Well, what is it? Well, there have been a lot of things happening in my life recently that have kind of worked on my mind, I guess you could say. You know, I really feel like I could get into a relationship right now. I mean, a, a serious one. Well, I wouldn't mind that. But the timing is off. Or maybe I should say timing is off again. Why? Because right now there are a lot of complications. I mean, they're big ones. Big enough so I can't commit myself to anything else. I'm sorry. So am I. But, Tanya, please, I don't... I don't want to lose touch with you, all right? I still want to be close. Of course. I want you to um, remember something always. What? That as far as I'm concerned, you and I will always be special friends. Got a regular old paper route, huh? Yeah, well, I figured I'd earn a couple extra bucks uh, on my break. Why not? Pedaling around from door to door, eh? I actually have to. I've been riding my bike. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. So, um, so what's up, huh? Well, I came by for a bit of advice. Have you got some time? Um, well... Yeah. Sure. Come on in. seat at the, uh, the guru's table here. Since when has the guru been painting his toenails? Oh, that. Aunt Helen. Oh, wait a minute. So that's who would treat it into the bedroom real quickly. Yeah, right? she's a shy lady. Yeah, what does she do? Just hang out in there until the coast is clear and then come out? <laughs> the only way she'd have it. Uh, well, it just goes to show you, first impressions aren't always right. That certainly isn't the Aunt Helen I met the other day at the studio. Oh, oh no, she was, she was very obnoxious the other day, wasn't she? Mm. You know, she's just like a shrinking violet, really. Yeah, so what is this? Red hot pepper? Um, yeah, she's nearsighted too. So, um, uh, what kind of advice did you need here, huh? Spiritual, financial, you name it. Well, I obviously came to the right place. Yeah, guess you did. Well, as I said, I came here by my bike, and it does wonders to the appetite. Yeah, the legs too. I mean, not that uh, uh, yours needs any improvement. Well, thanks. But I tell you, I'd much rather be driving my car. However, it is a lemon. It's in the shop now, three times in the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I'm here is to ask you what to do. Should I get a new one? Should I get this one fixed? What? Uh, do you have the, um, the estimate on the repairs oh, yeah, or sure. something? Take a look at this. Oh, real. Okay. Wow. Hmm? Is it worth getting fixed? For the mechanic, yeah. Well, that's what I wanted to know. I don't know a thing about cars. You know me. Pa Father picked out the last one. Right. Well, there's a lot of cars out there, and you got a lot to choose from. Mm. You know, I... Oh, gosh, I really am hungry. Have you got anything? 
I mean, I saw the damage. Sure. Well, what do you want me to do? Read the headlines while you make it? No, it's the car classified ad. Oh. Check those. Oh, I know. Lesson number three. See, needs work. That's exactly what it is. It means it's a disaster. Okay. Okay. Here. Mint condition. Now, see, that's, that's perfect. That's exactly what you would want for something like that. See, car buffs don't fool around. Well, so why is somebody going to want to sell it if it's in perfect condition? Well, they may want something bigger or something like that. There are a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. But you have to look for something in your price range, and you have to look out for a few things if you're going to buy. Like what? Like good tires. You want something with low mileage, and you want something that doesn't have any funny noises coming out of the engine, like, you know, sounds I make out of my guitar. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, Nick. Oh, yes, the other day at the television station. Mm -hmm. uh, first of was just helping me with some advice on getting a new car. A new old car, actually. Don't you think you should find someone who knows a little more about the topic? And Helen. Oh, she it's no up. family secret that Andrew has never really, you know, worked with... Andrew? <laughs> That's me. So much for that little secret. Andrew, it's so distinguished. It's so much better than uh, Frisco, which I think is rather stupid. Well, actually, I've always liked the name Frisco. Do you? Well, it's just my opinion, of course. But yeah, I do. Tell me a little more about yourself. We didn't really get a chance to talk the other day at the studio. Oh, uh, well, we're making up for it now, aren't we? I'd like to hear a little more about you. Well, I'm afraid it's not a terribly interesting subject. Oh, don't be modest. I'd like to hear a little more about you. What is the line work you do? Something in the hospital, I thought. Yes, I'm a speech therapist at General oh, Hospital. Oh, exactly. What do you do? Uh, Aunt Helen, you see Tanya's on a break right now, and uh, she doesn't have time for chit-chat. She came by for some advice about cars, and that's exactly what I'm giving her. Okay? Of course. Okay. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Just pretend I'm dead. All right. Well, I'd be happy to tell you about it some other time. Oh, you're such a sweet girl. Are you married? Oh, uh, no. And Helen... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so stimulating being around younger folks. Hmm. Where were we? Okay. Oh, there is one more question I wanted to ask, if you don't mind. I'd just be one more. Really, no problem. <laughs> one more question? What? Are you engaged? No. Do you live alone? A Aunt Helen, do you mind? I'm sorry. No more questions. <laughs> Maybe we ought to get that in writing, huh? Don't be rude, Andrew. Um, okay, let's see now. If you're gonna buy, Tanya, you gotta get something, like I told you, with low mileage, right? Okay. Has to have good rubber, the tires, and you have to have something, the engine. No problems with the sound. Then you take it to a garage that you trust. Okay? I thought you said she was a friend of yours. She is. Then why are you giving her such bad advice? The hell if I am! Since when do you swear to your aunt? I'm not giving Tanya bad advice, Aunt Ellen. Everyone knows you should not buy a used car. They're nothing but trouble. You buy a new car, dear. She already <laughs> said that she wants a used car, so would you just butt out? Frisco, uh, it's all right. I've got to get back to the hospital anyway. Excuse me. This won't take much longer. Oh, no, no, really. no. Time's up. Boy, this break, it went so fast. Uh, maybe we can get the Here, make sure you time. take it. What's all this? I'm sick. And I'm playing nurse. Cozy. You must be getting a real kick out of this, Aunt Helen. I know how much you love company. What's the great smell, huh? A little chicken soup. Yeah, Tanya's gonna fix me up. Well, if anybody can, Tanya can. What the hell's wrong with you? Flu. God, that smells terrific. Could I have a little taste of that, uh, please? Out of here? Come on, please, <laughs> I said. I haven't had a decent meal since you moved no. out. No. Exactly how long did you live here? Oh, a couple weeks. Yeah, never ate better in our lives, huh, Tony? Yeah, heaven. <laughs> mm-hmm. You'd think they'd never had a home-cooked meal in their life. Right. Oh, I'm sure Frisco's had lots of home-cooked <sighs> meals. He just wouldn't tell you about it. Oh. So can we eat now? I would love to. Uh, get your brother over there, will you, please? No, it's okay. I can he can bring it. himself. Frisco, help him over here. Come on. Help me. I'm starving, man. Oh, okay. this is wonderful. There you what go. else, man? She's terrific. Mm. Aunt Helen, are you going to join us? I'm saving myself for dinner. Oh, yeah? I'll get it. Okay. What are you making? What? For dinner. Oh, well, I hadn't thought about it. Well, how about what if I help you with your dinner? That'd be great. Oh, no, I couldn't have you do it. We accept. Only if I can do something. What are you planning to do? Supervise Tanya. I'm sure she'll have a lot of helpful tips for me. Oh, yeah, she mm -hmm. could do that. Well, let's get started. Aunt Helen, you get to peel the potatoes. Mm. 
Tanya. Yeah, it really was. But I'm just sorry I wasn't much of a date tonight. Oh, that's all right. The important thing is, how do you feel? Better, but sleepy. Okay. Well, maybe you should go to bed then. And Helen, why don't you put him to bed? Me? Yes, I think you'd want to tuck him in, wouldn't you? Of course, yeah. Tony. Come on. Okay. Good night, Tony. You know... You really never cease to amaze me. How's that? You always got a good way for people. I'd do anything any other friend would do. You're a very special friend, Tanya. You know, Frisco, it could be more than that. Things are crazy right now, you know. Yeah, your aunt, for yeah. one. She's something, huh? Ah, yeah. Something is a way to describe her. Tell you the truth, I think uh, there's something a little odd about her. You noticed. Frisco, first of all, if she's an aunt, she doesn't know the first thing about the kitchen. No. Secondly, she no. says the oddest things. I mean, she is downright rude sometimes. Well, you know, Aunt Helen was like an only child. Right. And, and she, she never really learned anything about household doings because... She just grew up alone. Uh, people in the family just kind of laugh at her. She's kind of the joke of the entire family, no, you know. No, it's late. No, it isn't late. Tony needs some peace and quiet. I'm sure you'll understand. It's all right. I was going to leave anyway. Oh, thank you. We can just put it over my shoulders. Okay. Got it. Somehow. No, you don't have it. Uh, call me? Yeah. Thanks for dinner. No problem. Fabulous as usual. Kind of like old times, huh? Bye.